This is the world that we are living in now. How can we change it? Is this the world that we want to leave behind? Can hydrogen be the solution? We know that we need to change the way we produce energy. The technology to produce green hydrogen is already here. And yet we seem to be hesitant to implement those technologies. Climate change is a huge threat. So what are we afraid of? We have been living in the oil industry too long. So we don't trust anything else. It's always easy, if you look at our status quo and the technology we use, to think that new technologies are inferior. And yes, hydrogen is like 10 years behind when you compare it to solar technologies. But we use it already in cars and trains and other places. And people from first world countries tend to be focused mostly on their wealth and their personal issues. But climate change and global warming isn't a developed country problem. It's a global one for which we need global solutions. Exactly. I mean, it doesn't make sense if we cut all the emissions in the Western countries when you have the emerging countries still burning a lot of coal. What we really need is a clean, cheap, reliable, green source of energy in order to address our global issues. I believe hydrogen really holds a green key to our future where it can not only couple the hard to electrify sectors with green electricity, so industry and also the heat, but also provide energy independence and energy security to remote locations. I come from an island where everything you use on this island you need to import. This also includes your energy needs. And so if you think about relying on diesel, you have to import diesel that was not made nearby. So there was already the whole supply chain of how to make fuel, clean it, etc. And then it has to travel on a boat that is clearly not green, and then finally it makes it. So it's a very expensive and long travel to supply energy. So I see hydrogen as a solution to empower isolated communities and also developing countries to produce their own fuel on site solely with sun and water. Is it utopian to have a society that uses hydrogen as a main pillar of the energy production and storage? One starting point to create a better world is the use of renewable energies. Germany is investing billions in building up a sector for renewables. But is that enough to create a society that is not fossil fuel dependent? Professor Strasser says that Europe needs to do more. Experts agree that we will not produce enough renewable electricity to make all the hydrogen that we will need in Germany. So we will have to go to areas of the world where you have a lot of sun or a lot of wind, mm -hmm. maybe like North Africa, where we'll have the necessary solar power to produce the hydrogen via electrolysis. To sum this up, Germany won't be able to produce enough energy out of renewable resources in the near future. And the same goes for other nations, because they don't have the luxury of sun and wind all year long. I think there is a huge opportunity for any nation that has huge solar exposition to use this excess energy to convert it into a green gas that can then be used for um, so many different applications, but also that can be used at nighttime. So it's really 24 hour solar energy as a different kind of energy carrier. If countries that have an excess of sun and wind are going to produce hydrogen that can be exported, we have to find a solution to transport this green hydrogen. Today we have a highly efficient system to transport crude oil. We are dependent on the oil producing countries and the logistics. It will not be only one country that can and will build solar and wind farms because it will be a reliable source of income for the state in the future. Now we need to develop the same efficient transport system for sustainable energies. What we need is a pipeline system. This 
is an old industrial gas pipeline that was used uh, in the last century. So there is a plan to transport hydrogen around Europe, retrofitting existing natural gas infrastructure. Yes, it's possible to add hydrogen into our normal natural gas pipeline system, but you only can do it to a certain percentage, so it's not the ideal solution. You are right, but it is cheaper to retrofit than to create an entirely new infrastructure for hydrogen. Uh, we have a very dense uh, gas grid in Europe. The natural gas influx, first from North Sea, countries like Norway and Netherlands, led to the fact that we have a very, very solid gas infrastructure. We know that most of these gas pipelines can be used for hydrogen with some retrofitting. The retrofitting is much cheaper than building a new pipeline. So it's a quarter and even less of the cost. And what we are doing at the moment is we are linking industrial clusters with these pipelines. So we use existing pipelines between industrial clusters and turn them into hydrogen clusters. And this will lead in the medium term also to clean corridors. That is our aim, to have a clean corridor, a very simple example from Sicily in Southern Europe to Scandinavia. And we could turn this a clean corridor by feeding the existing pipeline infrastructure with hydrogen, possibly from Northern Africa, because the pipeline exists. So solar power hydrogen that comes through this pipeline. Is Shatsi Makarkis right? Can we really use existing pipelines for hydrogen? According to Linde, a company that specializes in building hydrogen pipelines, it can happen. Yes, there are natural gas networks in Europe and in Germany that reach right into homes and supply heating systems there. These can actually be used at least in part for hydrogen. That depends a bit on the materials used for the pipes during construction. There's also being examined whether natural gas networks that have been shut down can be revived in this way. On our journey so far, we've learned about how green hydrogen can play an important role in our overall societal infrastructure. But there's one place where hydrogen is already playing a role, and that's the transportation sector. And now when most people hear the word electromobility, they think of electric cars, specifically uh, battery electric vehicles. They're not wrong. These will play an important role in our future mobility. They're completely emission-free, suitable for most people's daily mobility needs in urban areas. But for frequent trips with long ranges, there's a better solution. Fuel cell electric vehicles. We just heard Albert Biermann. He envisions a future of hydrogen cars and trucks roaming around on our streets. So how far are we away from this future? And is there a business model that is sustainable for the world of transportation? You know, we speak of Europe, Germany, preparing plans and programs for the future at the government level. But Switzerland is already doing it on a complete private level and it worked extremely well. Be sure to check out the next episode of our Hydrogen Discovery Series. We drove to Switzerland and found out that they are already one step ahead and they have a business model for hydrogen trucks in place.